So I encountered my first problem with a scooter, the T112 scooter, and that was uh, a total loss of power to the rear motor. It came back momentarily, the power, and then it went again. And I knew immediately what the problem was. The motors are very reliable, they're bulletproof, and they never break. They last for years and years under hard stress and all weathers. I knew immediately it was a controller. And also, the reason, uh, <laughs> the hint that it was given to me was, on the LCD control, it's got, um, there's actually four error codes. Um, controller fault, which is exactly this. It shows like a little box symbol, which is representative of the controller box. And um, also show you if there's electronic brake failure, a throttle, i.e. this whole in, whole thing is knackered, um, and or motor failure. So it, it's very clear, actually. It's very clever how it displays this, but it's obviously fed back from the controller to this unit that there is a, indeed... A problem with the the controller and um, the controller itself actually the front motor still works so if I apply the power to the front or dual mode the front motor works fine so that's a useful aid to get you home in emergency um, I was doing around 20 miles an hour not particularly fast and that's when it happened um, up a slight gradient uh, luckily it's very close to home so what I'll do is I will uh, replace the controller and show you how to how to do this. So in order to get to the controller in question and replace it, we're going to have to remove the foot plate. On this particular scooter, it's got 10 bolts. Uh, some scooters have obviously got uh, screws under the grip tape, so bear that in mind. Also, if you wanted to ride the scooter without any seat post, you just remove the four screws that retain a seat post here, and then you have a like a more of a speed board type thing. So let's get the old heat gun on. You'll need the heat gun to remove the, uh, the sticky resin stuff, the sealant. And then use a bit of brute force to pry it apart. Just a little bit of heat here. We're going to have to be a bit brutal, I'm afraid. I find using a steel rule quite useful to keep away any bits of gunk that are still in here. blows. I've actually taken this off before. I've done, even though I say so myself, I've done a pretty good job in uh, sealing this. I'll show you what sealant I use when I put it back together again later on. And there we have it. One open scooter.